The next tool I'll use is a 20 mm ball end. I make a new operation, go into tools, select the 20 mm ball end. I go into work plane, select plus X. I select operation, right click and select area, rectangle. Now I want to change this area so it fits the shape of the capital. I click the move node. I click on the, the corner and move the node. So, and then I change the area parameters. I want to cut along the local V axis, up and down in Z. Step over, I set to 5 which is 25% of the tool diameter. Now I want to copy this operation, so I do it the same operation all around it. So we do like before, we select and copy, select raw stock, paste, select again. So now I have four operations. Uh, the only thing I have to do is to change the work plane minus x see the area, because it's symmetrical, the area stays uh, in the right position plus y minus y so now we are ready to calculate the next four So now the toolpath calculation has finished, and we click on the operation to see the toolpath. I click on play to see the simulation. And here you see the tool, you can verify if the head collide with the piece. And now the finishing tool. I will reuse the area from the previous tool, so I select the previous operation, copy, and paste it into the raw stock. So, and then I will change the work plane to plus x. Stop plane is the same. The tool should be a, a pointy one conical ball end like this. It has a tip radius of 2 mm. We have the area from before, but I want to change the parameters, so I right click properties and the step over I change to 1 mm. Like this. So, and I will copy this like before. Copy. And then paste three copies. and go in and change the um, work plane definition and now I can calculate the next tool now the finishing tool has been calculated And we can try and simulate. Just zoom out so you can see it. Just speed it up.
Now we have to post process it for the CNC machine. We select the post processor button, select a name for it. And now it has been post processed, we can look at it in an editor. And here you have the post processor file, ready to be sent out to the CNC machine.